personally, I feel like I'm a rapper. Like, I don't really consider myself a writer. I never paid writer dues. I never really was interested in studying writing. I don't read a lot. I read comic books. I wouldn't say that book qualifies or quantifies me as a writer. It just means that I'm a sarcastic prick. I really like the direction that it's going. You know, I just, I'm nervous that after Obama wins the election, people will go, okay, we did it, and not follow through. It's really exciting for people to become part of the movement. I just really hope that people grab onto this and, be, and make this movement a part of their identity long term instead of just for the time being, you know, so it's not just a trend. You know, I like art and I like books, but I tend to stick to certain types of art. I don't have a very wide palette. Like, I don't really care. I can't walk around and go, this is beautiful architecture. I look at it and I go, yeah, it's a bunch of fucking bricks. So what? I want to hear some good beats. That's all I care, you know? Fans always want to believe that what the rapper is saying is true. The truth is, the guys that rap about selling drugs, they don't really sell drugs. They stole their stories from a movie or from a friend that sells drugs. Or maybe they might have sold drugs when they were kids. Guys that rap about shooting people, let's be real, if you sell a million records, you don't sell drugs. You don't, you don't risk going to jail. If my songs were real, I would already be dead from alcohol poisoning. These songs are there to make a point or to give my opinion or to give my theories. And I illustrate them through stories that are fictional, but they could be true stories. You shouldn't ever believe anything I say. There's a song in there called Me, and um, that starts off the last quarter of the album, and that's real also. Thank you. That was easy. Yeah. That was painless. It wasn't for me. That was easy. I didn't even get kicked. I love it. I love it. I love Amsterdam. I love the Netherlands. I love the Netherlands. That sounds like fairy tale shit. The Netherlands. Like when I go home and tell my friends I was in the Netherlands, they're gonna be like, did you see a unicorn? I'll be like, yeah, I, I fucked a unicorn. I had sex with a unicorn in the green light district.